happening today. Construction is starting on a new boathouse on the Buffalo River. The 16,000 square foot building will be home to the Buffalo Scholastic yeah, Rowing that, Association. Like News 4's Ellie Ingersoll has more on the project's progress and the growing interest in rowing. The first few beams are in place now as the building phase for the new boathouse is underway. It's a great day. Uh, Planning for the boathouse began more than six years ago. There was literally nothing going on here when we took title of this land. Now at the site on Ohio Street, the vision has a foundation. The Buffalo Scholastic Rowing Association's president says as rowing is growing in the Queen City, there's a need for more space. There is no room in the uh, temporary boathouse. The association's temporary boathouse measures 3,500 square feet while the new one will be 16,000 square feet, which will allow the association to expand their programs. There's room for a lot more in Buffalo. We're bringing people in water. Growing down the Buffalo River before the sun even rises, the team from Kenesha's High School is working together, their boat posting through water. It's a really good team sport, especially since you have to be in unison with everything. Many rowers say they love the sense of camaraderie and the lessons they take away long after the boat is lifted out of the water and back onto the rack. It teaches teamwork, discipline, uh, perseverance. Um, all the things we need to be teaching our youth. You go together, you work together, you win or you lose together. These are lessons the association hopes they'll be able to teach for many more years to come as soon they'll be able to welcome more people into their boathouse. So this day will come and we will have a boathouse here and, and more rowing for more people in Buffalo. The Buffalo Scholastic Rowing Association's new boathouse is slated to be completed in September. For information on how you can get involved with the rowing association here, just log on to our website, WIVB.com, and click on the Founded on Four section. Reporting from the First Ward, Ellie Ingersoll, News 4.